And some clarification from health experts today after the way comments from the WHO's chief scientists were reported yesterday. Some Canadians found her remarks about mixing vaccines confusing. It will be a chaotic situation in countries if citizens start, you know, deciding when and who uh, they should be taking a second or a third or a fourth dose. Today, the WHO clarified that it meant individuals should not decide for themselves and should instead listen to their public health agency's advice. Canadian health officials say the comments were actually meant to address concern about a rush on vaccine supply and global equity. They remind Canadians that mixing vaccines is safe and effective. For more on this, we're joined by Dr. Isaac Bogosh, part of Ontario's Vaccine Distribution Task Force and an infectious disease specialist joining us from Vancouver. Dr. Bogosh, the misinterpretation of the WHO's message yesterday really caused some distress for Canadians who have mixed their first and second doses of the vaccine. Can you clarify the WHO's message? Yeah, absolutely, and I'm glad they clarified it as well. Basically, they're stating that it is okay to mix and match vaccines. What they were referring to yesterday was people who have completed a full vaccine series and then have started adding extra vaccines on top of that and doing this under their own volition, not under the guidance of public health, which, of course, we shouldn't be doing. Uh, they clarified that today, and they basically suggested that uh, there is evidence for mixing and matching vaccines. At least there is growing evidence on that front, and that people should adhere to their public health guidance, which we're doing in Canada. We certainly know that there's many countries around the world, Canada included, that are mis mixing and matching first and second doses of vaccines and are doing so safely. Right, and we're hearing about booster shots, a third dose of the vaccine. What do we know about that for Canadians right now? Yeah, we have to timestamp all of these conversations, but when we look at currently, right now, it does not appear that there's a need for a booster vaccine for the general population if you've completed your vaccine series. Now, that might not be true later on. We have to be aware that there may be a need later on down the line, but we don't need one now for the current uh, COVID-19 that's circulating, including the Delta variant. There may be a smaller segment of the population who are immunocompromised who might need a booster vaccine, but certainly for everybody, uh, that's not necessary at this moment in time. Dr. Bogosh, thank you. My pleasure.